Hello, friends of golf course quality fertilizer. And we have another animal that we're seeing here. Uh, now this is not in everybody's yard. This one here is a disease. Um, and you can tell by its, you know, its biological look to it. There's no straight lines. It's all, you know, different shapes and sizes and all that. It's got a frog eye pattern, right? Now this one here can be mistaken a lot of times as different things. Uh, some people might think that it's fairy ring uh, because it's in a circle, right? Uh, but it's not fairy ring. And others might think brown patch uh, because we're in the hot of the summer. So we're gonna see a brown patch here and there. I've seen it a couple times. But this one here is actually called summer patch. Now this is, what's interesting about this disease in particular is it is actually, right now, it is not active, which is strange. We're seeing all this damage on the turf, all this stressed out areas around the lawn, but we are, but it's not active. So it's actually a soil-borne fungus, summer patch is, and it's active in the spring and then in the fall. And that's when you would use a fungicide on it. Fungicide is the only thing that's gonna cure this guy. And we can tell it's that because we don't see any darkening or any kind of grayness to the, the leaves that are in here. It looks literally like a droughted uh, ring. And so that's why you would, could mistake it as uh, fairy ring. But with fairy ring, you're going to see some greener grasses around the outer edge as well. Another uh, indicator that it's not brown patch or another thing is in the morning when we have dew, we're not seeing the sporea or the 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 um, cotton looking stuff around the out edge either. So it literally just looks like droughted rings. <clears throat> and so reason why it does that is because this fungus in particular, this soil borne fungus actually affects the root system of grass. And what it does is it forces it to not have uh, root hairs. It's just kind of in a club. So you get these little sticks. Root hairs are what help absorb uh, moisture and things like that. And so you want a nice fuzzy root when you have a root so it absorbs more moisture. Well, this just has a club on it. And so it's just a smooth, thick root. And then when we go through drought times or of the season, then this starts to show up. And so, you know, I'm actually having him use a water management, um, one of those water management bottles to help uh, mitigate um, the moisture uptake. Uh, and make it a little bit better for this. But this is called Summer Patch. And if you kind of look across the lawn too here, you can see like all these little depressed areas where it's at. Uh, here's one that's not quite as old, not affecting the roots as much, but you can see some fluorescing going on uh, around this thing. And you can see this is a ring as well. Uh, and it's because of that Summer Patch summer patch and then one of the other interesting things about summer patch as well is it only affects poas so that means poa trivialis poa annua and poa pretensis well those are bluegrasses that's what poa means is bluegrass and so kentucky bluegrass and this is a kentucky bluegrass lawn is a victim of that situation uh, Poa annua greens, they can be susceptible to getting summer patch as well. And so Poa annua is annual bluegrass. Poa trivialis is rough bluegrass. That's another wild uh, grass. And then Kentucky bluegrass is called Poa pretensis. Uh, there you go. Scientific names for your bluegrasses. Thanks so much for listening. Have a good day.